today? Yeah, I'm good, just tired. I'm training. How's training going? It's good. It's consistent. They're trying to keep a like routine going. Mm-hmm. That's how it's consistent with my progress and stuff. Uh, how did you start getting into basketball? Well, in my primary school, yeah. there was a coach that used to come after school. Mm-hmm. Then I used to do like, athletics and football and stuff. But then I thought, why not? Let me go to basketball. Went there, I started enjoying it. Took me to other places. Yeah, just kind of grew from there. Uh, how many teams have you played for? Um, let me see. Probably about four. Four teams ranging different leagues, like trying to progress higher. Okay. Who's your basketball influences? Like, who do you look up to when you're growing up? <clears throat> I probably watch like, every Michael Jordan video on the internet, as well as um, Allen Iverson. Right now, I probably look up to Russell Westbrook because mm-hmm. I try to like, model my game kind of around him. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like those kind of guys. Okay. Um, what has helped you in your development in basketball so far? So I'll say my coach right now. My coach right now puts a lot of time into like helping me progress as a player. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of what I like one-to-one workouts with him and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, as well as like breaking down game tape, trying to see where I've gone wrong, mm-hmm. what I can do better in other games. Yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. Last season you won the championship. Um, can you tell me a bit more about how, how it went? Oh yeah, um, my team, St. Charles College, we won the ABL. Um, it was a, it was a good journey. Like through it, we had like lots of goal planning and all that stuff. So that way, it's not like we're just playing for the sake of playing. We actually have like a structure to what we're doing. But yeah, I'm happy that we've completed the mission because that was my last year at St. Charles as well, so. Has the experience helped you? <clears throat> With, I'll say, it's helped me know that um, the importance of planning because it's like before matches and, and also goal setting, before matches we'll have goals of what we have to achieve in order to win. Mm-hmm. And then without that, I'm not sure if we would have done as well as we did. Yeah. So like, Try and put that to other aspects of my life, mm-hmm. like school work and stuff like that. Definitely. How did your pre season help you prepare for your winning year? Pre season, we got, <laughs> we did so much fitness and stuff that we were in, I think we were in better shape than any other team, mm-hmm. which means like we're also more athletic than them, so we were able to keep on going when their like, engines ran out. So that helped us late times in the game we were still being effective instead of like playing badly because of fatigue. Yeah, definitely. What's your biggest strength as a basketball player? I'll say speed and athleticism, as well as like, my transition. I score a lot of points in transition due to being faster than a lot of people. Also defensive cap- defensive capabilities as well. But yeah, I'll say that's the main the main strengths of my game. What would you say you need to improve on if you want to progress higher? My well, off the dribble shooting. Uh, I pick, I'm a pin that this summer we've been working on it a lot, me and my coach. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I can see it's coming along. When that happens, we'll open up a lot of doors in my game. Do you have any concerns about the future? No, nah, I try to take it one, one day at a time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just leave the future <laughs> to itself. How do you prepare for a game? First of all, get myself in the mindset that like at the end of the day it's just another game so you shouldn't like the pressure's there the pressure will help you to perform better yeah. but don't overthink of it to the point where now you're playing you're not playing for yourself you're playing try and press the crowd and stuff like that that's yeah. when you start playing worse definitely yeah right. so what is your routine then during the daytime before you start basketball for us because of our circumstances we would normally have lessons yeah as well, so but before lessons, we'll have a one, a like not one to one, but like a team talk with our coach and um, a guy called Sanchez, who's our sports um per, like psychologist. Yeah, he helped a lot through the year, uh-huh. and he will kind of like pinpoint what we need to do, how to get us in the right mind frame, Definitely. and stuff like that. What position do you play on the basketball pitch? I'm a point guard, but I can switch point and shooting guard as well. How do you motivate your other teammates if they're having a bad game? Well, 
you know the ones when if you're training with someone for so long yeah you've seen what they can do so if they're playing badly like we're humans so we tell them yo you like you could do better than this like try not to get down on yourself just try to keep them uplifted because if you've seen somebody do something before yeah it's another time they should be able to do it again definitely yeah so try not to put them down in any way try to get their confidence back up and what have you been doing in the off season so far um, we have a camp every day from 10 till 3 but earlier in the summer as well we had this thing called pro classic where it's like a summer league where pros from the uk that play abroad and stuff to come together mm -hmm. so i was playing in that and got a chance to play against better competition and see how i stand up against them how do you find it i found it good you know because mm -hmm. I, tried, I came in, I didn't want to doubt myself or nothing to the point where I'm playing shy or Definitely. unconfident, so yeah. yeah, I was playing well. What do you consider yourself in the future, the next five years of your basketball career? I see myself playing professionally, definitely, if everything goes to plan. Mm -hmm. Just praying, God willing, no injuries or nothing. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, I'm trying to take it one step at a time, so first to overcome the challenges that i got now, and then everything will sort itself out. Do you see yourself being a coach in the future after basketball? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Well, probably for like my age group or grassroots level. Mm -hmm. Because progressing a player is like probably one of the best things for a coach. Mm. Yeah. What's your favourite moment as a basketball player? My favourite moment? <laughs> I'll probably say my first dunk in the game. That was my best moment because we had a big crowd at the time. Everybody screaming. Mm -hmm. Got me feeling like. Michael Jordan or something. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Jordan, for the interview. Uh, no problem. Thank you. Uh, thanks.